say the Mass today for the preservation of peace and justice. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I've done, what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant, we pray, that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my belief, unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial song, You are my inheritance, O Lord. You You are are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You are are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart extorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Jesus 
told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to his teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Yes, uh, Jesus uh, keeps challenging us. I uh, yesterday for many, many things we talked about. And today is uh, uh, judging. And again, uh, the wooden beam in your own eye. You know, looking at yourself. And ask yourself today, you know, what keeps me, what makes me judge people? Who are those people? How can I, how can I change? Uh, St. Paul today uh, talks about himself, about that, you know, that. He was once a blasphemer, a persecutor, an arrogant man, but he was mercifully treated because he acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. And so he was this great scholar, right? The, uh, in the Jewish scholar, the Pharisee, he knew all kinds of things, but he's saying, I acted out of ignorance. You know, and aren't we sometimes like that? You know, we needed knocked off his horse, so to speak. And uh, maybe we do do at times or be able to see clearly somehow. And Jesus again is inviting us to remove it ourselves, you know, to see it first. You know, I look back on my life, I think, and Jesus, you know, uh, things I've done, you know, as far as out of ignorance, thinking I was right. And I wasn't. <laughs> but it takes the danger and wisdom to see, and I'm sure you've been through that. And um, we act and continue then to the St. Paul turn to Jesus. He said, indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with faith and love. And that's what, you know, that's what God, you know, again, remove the splendor from his eye, God, right? God's grace. Faith and love. I mean, we've got to love people. We've got to have faith in people. We've got to listen to people. i got to be open. And then, you know, what did he become? An apostle of Christ Jesus by the command of our Savior. We all have our role to play. Pray God will help us and remove these things that keep us from straight, going straight on the path to Christ. And hope and trust in our Savior for many needs of the world in the church, we present them at this time. For the church, that God would heal our deafness so that we may hear God's invitations to service and recognize the cry of those who are suffering. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For peace in all nations, that the Spirit will renew the dedication of those working for peace and help all to work together. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all recovering from Hurricane Ida, that God will protect them from further harm, renew their energy, and speed the assistance which they need. We pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all health care workers, that God will keep them safe, renew their energy, and work through them to bring healing and strength to all who are ill. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local workforce, may all in need of new employment secure a new position to be able to support their families comfortably. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved deceased, especially this morning, Joseph Labrosa. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also remember in a special way at this liturgy, and for all who have died recently, for those who have died from the coronavirus, that God will welcome them into <coughs> eternal rest and grant in the glory in the, of heaven with the risen Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For any special intentions you may wish to voice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, hear our prayers. We are your family. We are your brothers and sisters. May we also show your love to others. Answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness that we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We give thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore, 
He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him, He has become the source of eternal salvation. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, without end we acclaim. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death of the Lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks you've helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Joe, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Joseph, all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you with your Son, Jesus Christ. And with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> For the 
forgiveness of sins and for God's way to reign on this earth, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. Always be free from sin, safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the King of the Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. And share a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I
us prayer. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, spirit of charity, that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So, um, Sunday at 9 o'clock will be our first responders mass and uh, as, uh, enjoy, invite you to come to spread the word to uh, pay dignity and respect uh, and honor also the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Pray for peace and for our country and our world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God's blessings upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Thank you.